by Jessica Arrowsmith for Daily Mail Australia published, 1931 EST, the 14th of February 2018, updated, 404 EST, the 15th of February 2018 She's the former married at first sight reality star whose boyfriend fell in love with her after watching her on the show, and on Wednesday, Cheryl Maitland, who admitted to having never had a boyfriend on Valentine's Day before, received a surprise visit from Bodine Gibbs on the set of Talking Married. Fellow co-hosts Jay Pardo and Shelley Horton started the episode by apologizing for dragging Cheryl into the studio to film on Valentine's Day. Surprise! Former Married at First Sight reality star Cheryl Maitland received a surprise Valentine's Day visit from Bodine Gibbs on set of Talking Married seconds later. Cheryl's boyfriend proceeded to enter the studio while the episode was being filmed, walking over to kiss her on her forehead while handing her a single red rose. The buxom beauty got teary-eyed, before saying, Oh my gosh! I did not expect this! The hosts were quick to sit Dean down and quiz him on their relationship. What do you love about Cheryl? Love is, on, the air. The hosts were quick to sit Dean down and quiz him on their relationship. What do you love about Cheryl? The former police officer was quick to respond. What's not to love about this girl? Adding, I absolutely adore her. The two first met through mutual friends in Melbourne, but lost touch. Dean admitted to having reached out to Cheryl with the hopes of rekindling their relationship after watching her feature in a season 4 Married at First Sight preview clip. Reality Hit Dean admitted to having reached out to Cheryl with the hopes of rekindling their relationship after watching her feature in a season 4 Married at First Sight preview clip. The happy couple now reside together on the Gold Coast with Dean telling co-hosts Shelley and Jane, I moved for love. She's worth it, I love her to bits, he finished. Couple goals. The happy couple now reside together on the Gold Coast, with Dean telling co-hosts Shelley and Jane, I moved for love. Snow, she is.